Patricia Neves Guimarès, médecin psychiatre, chercheur postdoctoral au département de psychiatrie, Université McGill, Institut universitaire Douglas en santé mentale de Montréal. Professeur à la faculté de médecine de Montes Claros, Brésil. Dilemmes éthiques pour les chercheurs en santé, divulgation et stigmatisation liées au VIH SIDA dans les communautés rurales au Brésil. Good afternoon. This title is Ethical Dilemmas for Health Research, Disclosures and Stigma Related to HIV AIDS in Rural Communities in Brazil. This study describes ethical dilemmas concerning how to uphold the decision of patients living with HIV and AIDS to not disclose their serostatus in poor rural areas and villages of the northern part of Minas Gerais state in Brazil. Over the first 25 years of the epidemic, global actors only had limited success in alleviating the deleterious effects of HIV stigma. In addition to devastating the familial, social, and economic lives of individuals, HIV AIDS stigma is seated as a major barrier to access to prevention, care, and treatment service. Add to this, uh, HIV and AIDS disclosure is a difficult and complicated decision-making process, perhaps even more so in small rural communities where there is a little privacy. A methodology used for this research was qualitative approach, including semi-structured in-depth interviews, both at the University of Montes Claros HIV outpatient clinic and at patients' homes. An ethnographic observation was also conducted in 14 different communities in the northern part of the state. Only patients from rural areas were included in this study. Uh, I'd like to show the map of Brazil and the location of Minas Gerais State, is the center part of Brazil. This map shows the northern part of the state where the research was conducted. I interviewed 52 patients, 30 males and 22 females. The topic included interviews were representations of HIV illness, representation of HIV AIDS transmissions, experience of living with HIV in a rural context, homo and heterosexuality, relationship with families and communities. Ethical approval for the research was obtained from the Research, research Ethic Committee Board of the Federal University of Sao Paulo in Brazil before the research started. All patients signed informed consent forms prior to participate in the study. As the interview topics address sensitive issues such as sexual relationships and homosexuality and prostitution, some patients were interviewed on more than one occasion in order to help a build trust relationship with the researcher. This research was carried out in two phases. The first phase took place inside the NHIV outpatient clinic at the University of Montes Claros. And the second phase took place in patients' home. The second part was more complex because access to patients' home communities was difficult. Furthermore, some communities didn't know the HIV status of the patients. I would like to show you uh, some pictures of those communities that I visit. And uh, the access was complicated, with roads uh, in bad conditions, with no pavement, most of all. In other places like that, there was no road to get access to the patient's house. As the house was located in remote and undeveloped places, we needed to get access to the back woods of the, to the get access to these, these places. This is a traditional stove in rural areas in these communities. Our patients agreed to participate in their ethnographic fieldwork 
under two conditions. One, the research would not reveal the patient's HIV status to other members living in the HIV patient's community. And the research would not also not mention anything that might connect the patients to HIV treatment at outpatient clinic. This was a challenge for the researcher. The first contact with the patient was at the outpatient clinics. And after that, the discussion about ethnographic field work was made with the patients. The HIV treatment was provided only outside those communities in the city of Montes Claros, that is the biggest city in the region, with more or less 300,000 inhabitants. The research decided to impersonate friends or relatives of the individuals living with HIV while visiting them into rural communities in order to help protect their privacy from members of their communities. And the cover stories varied depending on the situation. A lot of work had to be done before to visiting this procedure to visit in order to protect the identity of patients during the ethnographic field work. Many communities were not aware of HIV status of the research subjects. All patients' interviews were recorded inside their house during the community visit. The researcher was also able to directly observe stigmatizing behaviors by community members. And several participants shared the experience of stigmatization with their communities following disclosure of their health condition. This statement is an example of what happened when the HIV diagnostic was disclosed. This is a patient, a male patient, male. It was my stepmother. They put me in a separate house as if a kind of isolation. Then they brought me water and food. This is a separate house, a house to put tools, wheelbarrows, planting tools, and that kind of stuff. Horse shed. I stayed there in that shed. I, wa I was kind of trapped, you see. I took it without complaint, without hurt feelings, without anger, towards anyone. I got over it. This is another example that I could uh, see in this field work. This is a house of a patient who lived in the backyard of the family house. This house was built separately, the main house, in order to put the patient isolated from the other members of the family. This picture show inside the house. The roof it was a plastic cover. It's a kind of a cabana without any conditioners to live there. With few amenities, uh, not too much. These acts increase issues about integrity and confidentiality in research fields related to communicate research findings to the broader public. HIV research should be sensitive to the cultural values, the personal as well as social traditions of the research subject. Confidentiality is a basic prerequisite for building trusting relationships between an HIV-infected individuals and a researcher. Thank you very much, Missy. <laughs>